Hello everybody, it's me, it's me, it's DAB, the one and only, and welcome back to the Mega Man 6 LP. Okay guys, uh, last time we were able to take out Flame Man and Blizzard Man. Now, that would normally have to Blizzard Man be Plant Man, and Plant Man is good against Tomahawk Man. Who has lots of cowboys on his stage that, uh, their bullets hurt a lot. Okay, you. I didn't think he was gonna spawn, like, right there, eye level, but okay. Uh, you get a lot of use out of Power Adapter. Oh, I guess I, uh, I'm gonna use Power Adapter again. I'll show you what it looks like when we get to it again, sorry. Do it again. See, I don't remember the date. Did we just die? Okay, let's show you off the Power Adapter. Hell yeah. Power Mega Man. Okay. Blow up the... And we get an E-Tank out of that one. There is no secret path over there. There's nothing that way. Don't worry about it. It's just a death trap. I love the design of these things. I don't know why. They're just great. Turn around, shield. Um, so yeah, I realize this is like a first for me where I'm LPing two different, or er, two games in the same series back to back. I might have done this before, I'm not sure, I don't think I have. Normally I try to vary it up, but I would, I, I had the, uh, the Legacy Collection in, and I'm like, you know what, you might as well just finish the series, finish Mega Man's 8-bit adventures on the NES. Even though I'm playing the Legacy Collection, not the NES, but I did the first three Mega Man games on official N Nintendo hardware. Nope, we're going back. I'll do this a couple times, and if I don't get something good by the second time, I I'll, I'll let you guys see two more. And if I don't get anything good, I I'm starting to think he doesn't cycle anymore. No, he does. Thanks, Eddie. Okay, so, God, I love I love this stage. It's beautiful. They push the NES to the limit with this game. I don't think this is the part where you need to go this route. It might be. I don't remember. But on the bottom four Robot Masters, there's alternate routes, and you have to take those alternate routes to get to the Robot Master in order to get beat parts. I don't know why that was like that, but okay. And for our trouble. I don't think we're gonna need that, so I'm just gonna go ahead and... Oh, I think I could have gone that way. Yeah, we're not gonna worry about him. He, he's just gonna do his thing. He's not my problem anymore. <laughs> Goodbye, buddy. Oh, God, you. Just, you know what? I don't want to. No, thank you. And just like the last one, go over. Go over here. I guess if you need to, like, heal up, that's a good way to do it. Okay, so first things first, on this stage. First thing we want to do is go the easier route. Oh, God. I hate this so much. Okay, a little further. A little further. A little further. Mega Man. Oh my god. I think that's as far as I can go. Okay. You know what? We're gonna... How am I supposed to do this? I'm gonna keep moving one pixel at a time. I think that's as far as I can go. Okay. Good lord. This item isn't even that necessary in this game. I mean, I'm glad I'm gonna have it. I like that- hold on.
Thanks, Proto Man. We got the Energy Balancer. What that does is it's more useful in Wily's Castle. I mean, Mr. Damn it. I mean, Mr. X's Castle. Dr. Wily's not in this game, remember? He was the one controlling Wily. Blah, 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 blah. You, you guys know the drill. You've been with me through five other Mega Man games. Six if we're counting Mega Man X. Part of me kind of does. Okay, okay. Can we not do what we're doing here? Just go. Now, take the harder to get to route every time and you'll get the beat parts. Both of these are going to wind up leading me to Tomahawk Man. Keep your jet on for right now, just in case. Yeah, see, I wanted that. Not risking that. All right. Now we'll put on our leaf barrier. Guys, I'm trying to edit out coughs and sniffles. I'm hoping they're not there. But I am getting over a cold, and I feel it's been a long time since I've had to say that in a Let's Play, so I feel pretty good about that. Alright, Tomahawk Man, I'm not good at dodging his attacks. Yeah, that was dumb. I could have done better. I could have at least tried to dodge him, but I was more worried about not wasting all my uh, leaf barrier on him. But he's dead now. That's all that matters. So we got the best weapon in the game from him. The silver hawk, the silver tomahawk, is good against like every single boss in the game after the robot masters. It's really good against the final boss. And we got the B, B parts. Now that silver tomahawk. Is good against Yamato Man. I had yet to mention that, uh, as the story said, each of these robot masters is from a different part of the world. I'm gonna assume by the pandas, Wind Man comes from China. You've got uh, Yamato Man, who's very clearly Japanese. You have there's Tanukis in his stage for crying out loud. He's very Japanese inspired. I'm assuming Tomahawk Man is from the United States. Nightman, I would have to imagine Nightman comes from, uh, England. I don't know where everybody's from, though, but those are the ones I'm pretty sure you can, like, infer. Was it one more? Let's see, because I'm, like... I, I don't know how strong that punch is, but it's stronger than a fully charged Mega Buster. I'm gonna leave that, in case I need it, like if I, you know, forget it. Just take it, why not? Oh, this is a little mini boss I love fighting, he's so goofy. Like, goofy's not the right word, but like, I, I don't know the mythological figure Jiraiya that Naruto's based off of, but I feel that's what this guy is also based off, because it's, you know, a guy riding a big toad robot. Uh, if you haven't noticed, I, I'm not great at Mega Man, but look how many- I, I'm now maxed out on E-Tanks already. Mega Man 6 is really easy compared to other Mega Man games. And that's that. That's where the parts- or the paths split off. And man oh man does that give us a shorter route. No thank you, Mr. Tanuki with your bouncing ball of death. I'm just not going to deal with this. This is why we got the jet adapter. Shoot the ball. Oh no, that's where the path splits off. Okay, there was just more stuff the other way. So this is the Yamato Man path we want to take in order to... Why do I keep putting the jet away? I keep needing it. And I think we have one of those guys that like shoots the propeller at us again. They take a while to kill, though. The only travesty is I can't listen to the amazing music, because like I say, I have to have my TV turned down so it doesn't pick up the game audio. Those enemies are so goofy, and they're on the, like, game select screen for some reason.
Well, I tried to not take any damage. Let's put on my Silver Tomahawk and let's go. And the Silver Tomahawk arches up. It used a pretty fair amount of weapon energy, but that's okay. It hits really hard. Yamato Man has two attacks besides charging you. He'll shoot a spear across the room or he'll dive in the air. And when he does that, yeah, that, he retrieves it. Or he'll do that maneuver. Which is being much. Goodbye. And he'll retrieve the spearhead, or he'll, like, jump up and fire, uh, three spearheads. That he doesn't need to retrieve. I don't know why. And with that, guys, we are done with two more Robot Masters. We got the Yamato Spear and the Beat E parts. Yamato Spear is one of the better weapons of the game. It's really fast. It hits hard. I enjoy it a lot. And Mega Man looks good in pink. So that's going to be where we call this one. So thank you for watching, everybody. Until next time.